Well, hello everyone. I'm Joshua Central Oregon Fishing Report. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be out at Crane Prairie Reservoir. This is an absolutely beautiful lake with some super beautiful scenery. Today we're going to show you how we're going to be catching largemouth bass. Now to get out to Crane Prairie, we're going to head from Bend uh, out south down Highway 97 until we get to Sun River. We're going to take the Sun River exit. And when you first get into Sun River, you're going to hit a traffic circle. You're going to want to just keep going straight on Spring River Road or the second exit of the traffic circle. A couple miles down the road, you're going to get out into the wilderness and you're going to take a left on Upper Deschutes Road. There will be a sign for Crane Prairie Reservoir. Eventually that goes out, turns into uh, Forest Road 40. Once you're uh, out that far, you just kind of keep going out there from Sun River. It's about 37 miles to a junction. You will see a sign to make a left turn towards Crane Prairie's resort. Uh, that's one option for hitting the reservoir. Uh, another option is you could continue at this point straight down Forest Road 40, take a left on the uh, Cascade Lakes Highway and hit the backside of the reservoir. Now when you're out fishing for these largemouth, you gotta be fishing near structure. You wanna find logs, weeds, lily pads, uh, and Crane is just a perfect reservoir for these conditions. Uh, the lake is on average 11 feet deep, so it's very warm water. You're gonna find lots of logs and snags, lots of weeds and lily pads. Uh, me personally, I prefer the big, thick, heavy weeds, and today that's what I'm going to be showing you how I work those and I get the bass out of those holes. Now I'm going to show you a couple of fishing pictures here and we're just going to kind of talk about the largemouth. Um, number one, a largemouth always wants a full size night crawler, a whole crawler. Um, you can use lots of other stuff for largemouth, jitterbugs, poppers, uh, spin baits, grubs, all those things work at Crane. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how I use night crawlers, however, to get my big bass. We're going to be using about an 8 pound monofilament line and a size 6 hook. Uh, and there's just kind of a special way that you want to hook the worm to make sure that he doesn't get all snagged up in the weeds. So I'll show that to you here right now. Another key thing here is we're not going to use any weights. We're going to fly line this worm, as I like to call it. So you're going to grab your uh, night crawler. You're going to take that hook and you're going to start it right up at the very top of the head here. Uh, the idea is, so you're going to take this worm and you're going to slide him down the hook. And you're going to keep sliding him, keep sliding him, so he's completely covering the hook until you can barely have just the tip of the, uh, the hook up here where I got my finger and you're still holding on to that and you just barely pop the barb right through the crawler and then slide his head up over the top and you just have this nice hidden perfect crawler. Now I'm definitely a big fan for being completely rigged up when you first go over to the water and we're going to cast through these weeds right here just directly straight through them and uh, I'm going to kind of explain to you exactly how we're going to work through these weeds without getting snagged. I'm going to pull this tip up real, real slow. I'm going to see the crawler over there and I'm just going to kind of barely pop it up and over weeds into pockets. There. If I jerk difficult, like hard, then it's going to grab a weed, it's going to snag the weed, you know what I mean? And, and then I got this, all this slack hanging across the weeds, and how I can tell when a big largemouth takes it, is that that line's going to start to tighten out, right? And I'm going to literally see those weeds moving across my line. So I'm just going to work it to the next spot here, see it bouncing through all those weeds, oh, drop it down. All right, now it's time to see this technique in action.
that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yep, that's a good fish. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. That's a good fish. That's a fat one right there. I'm gonna bring him up over here. Out in front of us, right here in front of us. Oh yeah, that's a fatty. He's going this way, honey. Come over here. Come over here. There he is, right there. Look at that. Net him, net him. Oh yeah. I don't know, he's down in front of you. He's underneath the net, honey. He's underneath the net. Yes, he is. Net him, net him, net him. Yeah! Oh, nice. look at this bass. Oh my god, and we're filming. Look at this bass. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, look at this bass right there. Oh, man. Let's get the weight. Let's get the weight.